All right, guys, cool stuff right here, man. Um, so we're putting in the graphics card right now. This thing is the GeForce GDX 1060. Um, it's a NVIDIA product. Uh, some company named Zoltac. Zoltac. Um, they're the ones I bought it from. It's virtual reality ready. Um, I believe for the most part, um, the reason Zotac has this box is because they're the ones that designed the case, uh, essentially the speed fans and stuff like that uh, on this. Uh, and that's why they're repackaging the video product. So uh, I'm getting this thing open. This thing was about, I wanna say $200. Uh, it was probably the most expensive single part on this desktop. Um, but obviously it's, I mean, it's got its own processor, right? Like it's, it's got a GPU, uh, a graphics processing unit versus your CPU. Uh, so it's got its own, it is six gigabits, six gigabytes. So that's, uh, it's pretty intense. Um, like anything else. Uh, and then, uh, like anything else, it's, uh, it's got a lot of, oh, a lot of fancy stuff here. Um, oh yeah, look at this thing, this thing is huge, this thing is like an old school hard drive, right, and it's got, uh, it's got a DVI and four HDMIs built into the back. The thing also came with a, uh, an email, uh, an email code for the download for Fortnite, uh, not that I've ever played that, but, uh, we can get into it, I know little Miley's excited to get into it, um. It also came with an adapter, VGA, uh, HDMI 2 VGA. Um, this thing takes up two freaking spots. It takes up two spots on the back of the desktop. So I'm going to prep that. Uh, you can see in addition to in addition to these fans they've got on top, they've also got like a radiator system and, uh, and coils going through it. So it's pretty much just drawing the heat off to this ginormous heat sink that looks like a car radiator. And then these fans, just like on a car, blow, whisk the heat off of it. So this thing is probably going to be the hottest thing in the uh, in the computer, uh, which is just kind of really cool. So uh, let me get this stuff ready to get thrown in the box, and we will have some fun. All right, guys. So we actually cleared two spots here, right, to line her up with the PCI 2 port or the PCI Express uh, 2, sliding her right up there. There's a little lock mechanism in here, get her in place. You can make sure she's got some clearance so she can breathe. And then uh, had to go gather me two screws from our screw bag. Now you put both those screws in there, hold her into the two spots she takes up on the back of the on the back of the tower. So and uh, and for the most part, that's how she connects for the reading purposes of this. Uh, of this thing looks like she takes a lot of juice. Uh, we're just gonna read. Uh, see right here, it gives you. She's got eight ports on the unit itself. So uh, we'll lock this. Uh, we'll lock this uh, this eight port section right here onto the unit and. Uh, all right, so what you do here is you're going to, uh, our power supply has a six or an eight, just like our uh, standard, uh, just like our standard, uh, uh, the 20 to 24 prongs on the motherboard, this unit right here. So you just click it together, line her up. She should be. Oh, yeah, there we go. She should be ready to rock. There we go. And she just locks right in place. And there's your power. And then it can jump to the next one if need be. Uh, we don't have a next one. So we are, uh, and essentially that's it for our graphics card, other than, uh, you know, obviously hooking up the HDMIs to the unit. Uh, that's, uh, that's all she wrote, Jimmy. So uh, we'll catch you guys for the uh, CPU install.